You're definitely screaming at me. Okay. <laughs> you mad? Are you mad at me? Come on, come on, come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get you, Jimmy. Get it. That's how my little day is starting here. With Jimmy being a little turd. Come on, get the suction going. Stop chewing on it. Suck on the nipple, get it, get your food. Oh, yeah, chew it. Come on. You ready? Go. Good boy. Good boy. Just got it done at the gym. And feeding little Jimmy. I want you guys to realize you have to stop being your own worst enemy. Okay, we all have things that we're going through, or things that we're doing like feeding Jimmy or dealing with problems with our kids or um, dealing with people that are upset with us or whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, you have to realize there's a lot of people that could potentially be against you in your life or your journey or getting healthier. Maybe you have people in your house that aren't necessarily looking to follow the same type of healthy uh, lifestyle that you are. So that being said, make sure that you don't get too overwhelmed with the idea of trying to please others. Be nice to yourself. Be kind to yourself because there's enough people out there that are going to be mean to you. Okay. I was just at the gym uh, a few minutes ago. And I saw somebody's cell phone, his brand new iPhone, sitting there. Ready? And, nope. You ready? And this lady, I didn't know it was a lady at first. They left their cell phone on the machine. And a lot of people do that to save a machine or whatever, but like 45 minutes went by. And I kept seeing the phone there. Four people used the machine. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take it over. I don't know whose phone it is. So I took it up to the front desk. And once I did that, good. You ready? Are you ready? You're <laughs> not ready? Come on. One more. No? <laughs> He's done. Jimmy's done. Say hello. Say hello. Healthy, healthy living for a healthy life. Mm, my little Jimmy. Mm. You give hugs? You give hugs? No? Okay, get out. I want you to go eat some hay now. Can you go eat some hay? You have to realize to stop being so mean to yourself. Like I met, I dealt with that lady um, in the gym and she got pissed. She walked past me. I didn't know who it was and it happened to be somebody I've seen in the gym for years. Um, but I've never talked to her and she goes, excuse me, did you grab that phone? And I said, yeah, I, I gave it to him up front because I didn't know whose it was. And she goes, oh yeah, that was my phone. And I'm like, okay, well, sorry, you know, <laughs> sorry for, uh, you know, attempting to do the right thing, you know, and she got all pissed. And then I asked the lady up front. And she said that the girl came up there ranting and raving that people need to stop touching her stuff and this and that. And I'm like, so the moral of the story is beyond how I felt about it because I was upset because it's like, hey, I thought I did the right thing. Even though you're doing the right thing, okay, and a lot of you are, um, whether it's living a healthier life, whether it's following a, a, a positive meal plan, whether it's taking your vitamins and people around you are fighting you or whatever the situation is remember stop being mean to yourself because you can please yourself okay you can work on that and you can learn how to but you will never be able to please everybody okay you'll never <laughs> what's up jimmy uh, where is he oh, he's over here you'll never be able he likes to sit in front of the heater you'll never be able to please everybody else so stop trying 
um, the one person that you can work on loving more and appreciating more and spending more quality positive time with and being kind to is yourself so I challenge you in the comment section below to say something that you're proud of that you've done that you hey, don't don't need the heater <laughs> heater say something that don't eat the heater you're gonna burn your face stop it say something that you're proud of in the description below not something somebody else did not something that somebody did for you or anything I'm turning the heater off Jimmy you're grounded I'm not gonna let you burn yourself say something that you have accomplished that you are extremely proud of for yourself and I want to have you work on that on a very regular basis be kind to yourself stop being so hard on yourself I say this over and over and over again but it is the most important factor okay if you look in the mirror and you're disgusted I understand how that feels okay I know how that feels I have those feelings but if you look in the mirror and you're disgusted with yourself, how are you going to go out into the world each and every day and seek the best possible opportunities for this person that you're disgusted with? You're not. You're going to end up... And now he's eating plastic. Look. Stop it, Jimmy. Jimmy? No. <laughs> Stop being your own worst enemy because if you do that you're going to set stop it you're going to set yourself up for being unkind to yourself getting in relationships that don't help you flourish um, you're gonna get into relationships that you're dying together you're not growing together I think everything that we come in contact with in our lives as far as experiences is going to be an exact reflection of how we feel and how we treat ourselves okay so if you eat positive you feel good you tell yourself really good positive things about yourself on a regular basis you will be much more inclined to get into positive relationships have positive friends you will have positive experiences you will be doing really good positive things for yourself and I know that sounds really easy that's okay but it takes time it takes time it takes looking in the mirror and saying you know what I'm proud of you you lost 10 pounds or I'm proud of you maybe you didn't lose any weight yet but you're feeling good about yourself and you want to work towards a better future and that's okay that's fine you don't have to have results to feel good to praise yourself to know that you are working on yourself okay stop eating my shorts what are you doing stop it I don't have to hold him he's freaking out he's trying to eat everything I'm gonna go out there and eat some hay okay okay but be kind to yourself because maybe you don't got a little Jimmy in your life okay maybe you don't Maybe you don't have a little Jimmy, but if you do, um, pretend you have a Jimmy inside you, a, a cute little fluffy little goat that loves you deeply because you deserve to be loved. You deserve to love yourself. You deserve to feel good and positive and amazing about the experiences that you've had in life, the lessons that you've learned, uh, the, the healthy lifestyle that you're trying to live now. Um, and just remember that you're awesome. Go into the weekend, go into this Friday, knowing that you're absolutely a spectacular human being. Don't forget that. Don't forget it. I know sometimes it's hard to remind ourselves, but when you're going through the really hard times, say, you know what? <sighs> I'm awesome. It's hard, but I'm amazing. And I'm going to make it through this and just keep your head up and have a beautiful weekend. You guys keep a the good work as far as living your healthy lifestyle. Say bye to Jimmy. Say bye, Jimmy. Bye. <laughs> he doesn't like to be let go by one hand. You guys be stronger than your excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. And thank you so much. Peace. Peace.